Okay. Good morning. We'll get started in a minute. Just setting up my Instagram. Just preparing our minds and our bodies for a good practice and a good day. And as always, feel free to set an affirmation or an intention for your practice or for your day at this time. And affirmations may start with I am, I will, or I choose. Breathe in that affirmation. Breathe out any doubt, fear, or worry. Just take a couple more breaths. And we're gonna release your hands. You can rest them on your knees as we start rotating our head to the right. Inhale back, exhale forward. Nice slow, slow movements. And let's do the same thing. Start rotating your head to the left. Inhale back, exhale forward. Try to connect each movement to your breath. One more time to the left. Take the hands, bring them to the shoulders, roll the elbows backward. Inhale up. Exhale, back it down. A couple more times, moving backwards. And roll the elbows forward. Inhale up, exhale forward and down. Let's move a couple more times forward. Release the shoulders, inhale the hands up, interlace the fingers, press them towards the ceiling. Exhale, release the hands, start twisting to your right, left hand on the outside of right knee, right fingertips face the back wall, gaze comes over our right shoulder. Take an inhale, come back to 
center, interlace the fingers, palms push towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist to the left, right heel on the outside of left knee, left fingertips face the back wall, gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center, interlace the fingers, palms push towards the ceiling again. Exhale, release the right hand down, bring the left arm up and over the ear. Right forearm could come down to the ground, really reaching through that left arm all the way through the fingertips. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, lower the left arm down, right arm comes up and over. Feel free to lower your left forearm down. Again, extending all the way through those fingertips. Inhale, come back to center, interlace those fingers, push the palms away again. Exhale, release the hands, interlace the arms behind you, interlace the hands behind you. Roll those shoulders back, chest is open, chin lifts up towards the sky, take some good breaths. Inhale, exhale, cross right arm over left, grabbing either shoulder, nice tall straight back as you tuck your chin down to your chest. Try to release some tension in the neck and in between the shoulder blades. Inhale, open those arms back out wide. Exhale, cross left over right. Same thing, tall straight back. Chin comes down to the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, release the shoulders. Let's take our right hand, plant it down on the ground beside us as we drop our left ear to our left shoulder. Then we could take our left hand, gently resting it on the side of our head, using our hand as a weight, without pulling on our head or our neck. ear to the right shoulder, right hand can rest on the side of the head. Inhale here, exhale, release the right hand off the head. Let's bring first finger and thumb together as we stick our pinkies together. Start to roll the hands towards your body, getting the crackles that pops out of the wrists and the shoulders. Do the same thing. Roll the hands away from you. Just move the opposite way as you did before. Release the hands, bring up the heart center, inhale. Exhale, hands press into each other as they lower down towards the hips. Position on hands and knees. We're working to cat cow. Knees underneath hips, hands underneath shoulders. 
Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Chin lifts up. Tailbone flips upward. Exhale, chin comes down to the chest. Tailbone tucks under. Round your spine. Inhaling as the chest opens. Exhaling as it closes. Stay here with cat cow if you want to move around in a circle. Rolling the head and the hips towards the right, you can. And to the other side, maybe. And we'll come back to center. Let's bring those big toes together and shift our weight back, coming to child's pose. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lower down towards your neck. Child's pose. Let's thread the needle, taking our right arm, bringing it underneath our left. Palm is facing upward. Right ear, right shoulder, come down towards the ground. Inhale, exhale, extend that left arm back out. Let's float back up to table position as we rise up to our first down dog, tucking those toes under, lifting the hips up and back, making sure those shoulder blades are open, pushing through the arms, thinking about flipping our tailbone upward here in our down dog. Sending our hips back, chest melts down towards our thighs. Remember your heels don't have to touch the ground completely and your legs don't have to be completely straight. If you need to bend those knees to get the extension through your arms, feel free. Now let's just pedal our feet out here. Remember, if you need to modify a down dog, you can just come to your knees. Maybe shift your weight from one foot to the other. We'll bring our gaze in between our hands as we start to walk the feet up behind the hands. Let's come down to a forward pull. Nice deep bend in the knees. Go ahead and grab the elbows. And you can move sway from one side to the other, releasing that lower back even more. Releasing those shoulders even more. And release the elbows, start to roll up to a standing position, one vertebra at a time. Arms come with you as the, as the hands bring at the top. Inhale. Exhale, bring those hands down to heart center. Good. Let's come to our mountain pose. Palms facing outward down at our sides. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Rock back and forth from the balls of your feet to your heels. Try not to lock the knees. Inhale, extend those arms up towards the sky. Small back bend. Exhale, dive down to a forward fold. Feel free to grab your elbows again or bring your fingertips to the ground. 
Inhale up to a half lift. Flat back here. Neck and lung on spine. Exhale, plant the hands down in front of the feet. The step or jump back to modify a plank or full plank. If you're modifying, just drop down to your knees. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower for chaturanga. You can lower all the way down to your belly. Or for a challenge, you can lower halfway. Inhale up to cobra or up dog. If you're down on your belly, feel free to just slightly peel your chest off the ground for cobra. If you want a little more, push through those arms. Coming up to up dog. Inhale, exhale, make your way back to down dog or back on those knees if you need to rest. We'll take some breaths. Take your gaze, bring it up in between the hands. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands again. Inhale up to half lift. Exhale, lower it down to fourth fold. Roll up, bring the arms with you as you come to a standing position. Hands lean above your small back bend. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart center. Let's move to that a second time. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, dive down to fourth fold. Inhale the half lift. Exhale, put the hands down in front of the feet. Step or jump back to plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take some breaths. your gaze in between your hands. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands again. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up to standing. Hands meet above you. Small back leg. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Let's sweep our arms back up to the sky. Step back with our left foot. I want you to possibly stay up on that left toe, but if that's too much of a balanced challenge for you, go ahead and rotate that back heel down flat. Arms will extend up. Inhale. And so we're going to interlace the fingers behind us as we roll those shoulders back. Come into a bound high lunge. Inhale. Go ahead and straighten that front knee. And rotate that back heel down if you haven't already. Take an inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, we're going to come down to a pyramid pose. Now, if this is too intense on your hamstring, feel free to bend your front knee. Otherwise, melt your chest down towards that front thigh. Let your head lower down. And if you want a little more, feel free to grab either elbow behind you. Take those arms, sweep them back up to a standing position. Inhale, exhale, bend into the front knee. Drop those arms out wide as you come to warrior two. Inhale, your warrior two. Exhale, lower the left hand down to rest on the back leg. Put the front palm upward, reach up and back. Letting that left hand slide down towards your calf. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, we move those hands down, come into a lunge position. From here, you can take a break. Or you can move through your vinyasa. If you're moving through your vinyasa, you'll lower down for your chaturanga. Inhale for cobra up dog. Exhale, make your way back to down dog. Taking some breaths. Remember, if you need a break, you can drop down to your knees or down to child's pose. Bring your gaze up in between your hands as you step those feet up behind the hands again. 
Roll up to a standing position. Arms come with you. Inhale. This time, step back with your right foot. Exhale, interlace those fingers behind you. Roll those shoulders back. Straighten the front knee with an inhale. Rotate that back heel down flat. And start to lower your chest down towards the front leg. Remember, if you want to challenge, you can grab either elbow behind you. Let's release the elbows. Come up to a standing position. Bring the arms out wide. Inhale. Exhale, bend into this front knee. Come into warrior two. Knee is nice and wide over the ankle. Check those arms, make sure they're in line. Inhale, reach this left hand up and back as the right hand rests on the back leg. Reach into that left hand, letting that right hand come down towards your calf. Inhale. Exhale, bring your those hands down the inner side of the foot, stepping that left foot back. Come into plank, taking a break or moving through your vinyasa if you like. Take a couple breaths in your down dog. Let's take our gaze, bring it up in between the hands. Step the feet up behind the hands, roll it up to a standing position. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to interlace the fingers behind us, roll the shoulders back and down. Chest is open. Take those feet, bring them underneath the hips. Inhale. Exhale, deep into the knees as you start to lower the chest down towards the thighs. Letting those hands fall out behind you. Just as far as they can. Take an inhale. Exhale. Bring those hands down to your sides. Deep in the knees. Bring the thighs parallel to the ground. Making sure the weight is shifted into the heels. We'll sweep the arms up from the chair pose. Inhale, exhale, fall down to fourth fold. So we'll repeat that a couple more times. Inhale up, interlace the fingers, release the hands, interlace the fingers behind you, roll those shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, deep in the knees, lower the chest down. Let those hands fall out behind. Release the hands. Nice deep in the knees until the thighs are parallel with the ground now. Sweep the arms up for chair pose. Inhale, chair. Exhale, down to fourth fold. Let's do that one more time, rolling up to standing, inhale. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind you, roll those shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, deep bend in the knees, lower the chest down towards the thighs. Releasing the hands, bend the knees until the thighs are curl up the ground, sweep the arms up, chair pose. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Good. From here, let's bring the deep bend into our knees. Stepping back to our down dog. Or resting down on the knees if you need a break. And inhale. Exhale, drop down to the knees. Bring the big toes together. Sit back to child's pose.
And let's make our way back up to a table position. Let's take our right foot, step it up in between our hands. Let's come up on our back toe, but keeping the left knee down. Sweep those arms up for a low lunge. Inhale, exhale, bring those hands down to heart center. Let's twist to the right side, bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Gaze is over to the right. Take an inhale, exhale back to center. Both hands come down on the inside of the right foot. Let's open our hip a little bit. Taking our right hand, pressing it against our right knee. As we come up to the side of our foot, just opening the hip up. Inhale. Exhale back to center, lowering that right foot back down. Let's step the right foot back and do that on the left side. Left foot steps up. Sweep those arms up for a low lunge. Center, let's twist to the left, right elbow on the outside of left knee, gaze over to the left side. Uh, inhale, exhale back to center. Both hands come down on the inside of the left foot, left hand presses into our left knee, opening up our left hip. Take an inhale, extend that right leg back. Exhale, hug the knee into the chest as you step it up in between the hands. If you need to come down to your knee first, that's perfectly fine. We're going to sweep to the center, come into a wide leg forward bend. Take an inhale, exhale, lower down for your wide leg forward bend. Letting those hands come to the ground. If you need to bend your knees, that's just fine. Deep in and our knees, sweep our arms up for an inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. We're going to walk those heels in a little bit. Start to sit our bottom straight down. Then I want you to take the hands, bring them towards the inside of your knees, and just roll your right shoulder towards the center of your body. Try to open those hips up, pressing those knees apart. And let's bring our left shoulder in towards us, the center of our body. Sweep those arms up with an inhale. Exhale, swan dive back down to your wide leg forward bend. Walk those hands back towards the front of your mat. Stepping that foot back, coming to plank. Now from here you can move through your vinyasa or you can take a break. Take some breaths. Inhale, extend that left knee back. Exhale, step the left knee up in between the hands. Walk the hands towards the center. Inhale up. 
Add some swan dive down your wide leg forward bend again. Getting our hips nice and open. Sweep those arms up, inhale, exhale, small dive back down to a wide leg forward bend, walk your hands towards the front of your mat, stepping your left foot back, coming to point. If you want to move through your vinyasa, you can. If you want to take a break, you can. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, down to your child's pose. And these can be as close together or as far apart as you like. Since we did a lot of hip opening, I'm going to bring my knees closer together. And from here, take your hands, let them come together. And let your hands come behind your head in this prayer position. To get a stretch underneath those arms and kind of up in the shoulders. Think about tilting your pelvis down towards the ground, tucking your belly button back towards the spine, and you should kind of feel something underneath your shoulders. Release those hands and send them back out in front. Let's walk them over to the right side of our mat. Feel free to bring your left hand on top of your right hand and sink back down in your child's pose. Take your hands, start to walk them over towards the left side of your mat. Right hand can come on top of left if you like. Walk our hands back to center, roll back up to a table position, and work into some cat cow again. Inhale, put the chin, tailbone upward, press into the hands. Exhale, tuck the chin down towards the chest, ground the spine, tuck the tailbone under. Working with your own breath. Times. If you want to rotate to the right or left, feel free. Good. 
come back to center. Let's come to a seated position, extending those legs out in front. Getting on those six bones. Straighten those arms up, inhale. Exhale, weight with the chest, lowering down towards the extended legs. If you need to have a slight bend in your knees, feel free. to a seated position. Bend at your right knee as you cross it over your left. Left arm extends up towards the sky, same side as the extended leg. As you twist towards your knee, bringing your elbow on the outside of your knee, letting your right fingertips face the wall behind you, and bringing your gaze over your right shoulder. You can stay just as you are. If it's comfortable on your leg, you can bend that bottom leg as well. Only if that's okay on your hip and on your knee. back to center and sit those legs back out in front. This time we'll bend at the left knee, crossing it over the right. Right arm extends up towards the sky. Let's twist towards the left knee. Elbow on the outside of the knee. Left fingertips face the back wall. Gaze over the left shoulder. And if you're comfortable bending the bottom leg, feel free. to a seated position again. Right leg extends out. Bottom of the left foot either rests on the inside of the right thigh or tucks inside the hip. Sweeping the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Lower down to a fourth thing. more breaths. Let's 
Well, let's go see the position. Bending those knees, bring those feet flat. We'll come down to our back. Put the knees into the chest to start. Just rocking side to side. And then if you feel comfortable doing so, you can move your knees in a circle. So the right and to the left. Release those knees, bring the feet flat on the ground. Let's move into bridge pose with the option of coming up into wheel. So our arms will rest down at our sides and walk our heels into touch. Making sure that lower back is touching the ground. You might have to tilt your pelvis towards you. And let's start to lift the hips off the ground, come to bridge pose. And if you're looking to do more, take those hands, bring them up above the shoulders and by the ears. Start to lift the hips all the way up, pressing through the arms, come to wheel. Inhale, exhale, roll back down to the original position. This is the way you came. Let's hug the knees into the chest again. Release the knees, bring the feet flat again. Let's move up into our bridge pose a second time. And if you're looking to do wheel again, feel free to push up into wheel. We can just stay with your bridge pose. Inhale. Exhale, lower back down to a flat back. Hug the knees back into the chest. Let's release those knees. We're going to take our elbows, bring them on the inside of our knees, grabbing the outside of our feet, pulling our uh, feet up, uh, down on either side of our body. And you can just rock from side to side here for happy baby pose. Keep our right knee hugged in as we extend that left leg to rest on the ground. Right arm comes out to the side. And then use your left hand to pull your right knee over to the left. And then if it, it helps to help bring your left shoulder down, you can stack your shoulders first and then extend your right arm out to the side. And if possible, let your gaze follow that right arm. If that's not comfortable, on your neck, you can look up towards the ceiling. on this side. Inhale. Exhale back to center. Hugging both knees back in. Let's keep our left knee hugged in. Extend our right foot to the ground. Left arm out to the side. Right hand pulling that right knee across. And then again, you can stack your shoulders if you need to. Just helping you bring that right shoulder down. And then extend that left arm out to the side. Your gaze can follow that left hand or be up towards the ceiling. Inhale, 
exhale, come back to center. Hug your knees back in. From here, let's move into shoulder stand. I'll give you a couple options. Option one, you can just press your heels towards the ceiling. Or if you're close to a wall, go ahead and put your legs up the wall. Option two, if you want to come into full shoulder stand, roll the hips off the ground. Hands come underneath the hips, using those elbows as a stand, letting those legs extend up towards the sky. If you want more in your shoulder stand, feel free to let those legs come down into plow. Either way, just be really careful. Take care of your neck here. I really like this pose for loosening up my shoulders and back. So just find a comfortable position on your mat, either laying down or sitting up, making sure you're warm enough, and just making sure you're comfortable, comfortable enough to be in a spot that you'll be in for the next little while. To start, let's just revisit those long, slow breaths we used early in class. Deep inhale through your nose. Hold. Exhale. Inhale through the nose again. Hold. Exhale. One more deep inhale through the nose. Hold. Exhale. And again, coming back to our natural breath. Allowing our bodies to breathe in the most natural way. Noticing any subtleties as our breath moves throughout the body. Noticing the movement in the chest and belly. The rise as you inhale. And the fall as you exhale. Noticing the coolness of your breath as it enters your nostrils and the warmth as it exits them. And at this time, take a moment to scan your body from your head down to your toes. Checking in with any tense or tight areas and just making an effort at this time to relax them. Slowly scanning your body. tension anywhere, just release it. Release the tension and relax even deeper. Feeling as if your body is melting down into your yoga mat.
just letting go completely and surrendering to relaxation. And as you're here, try to let go of those outside thoughts, trying to fight your way in. And you notice these thoughts, don't be hard on yourself, don't judge the thoughts. Just let them pass through and then come back to your breath. Let go of any plans or any to-do lists you have. Let go of any expectations of the day. Let go of anything that isn't related to this very moment. All that matters for these next few minutes is this very moment. It is important to remember that we cannot manipulate the past or manipulate the future. All that we have certainty about, all that's guaranteed is our present moment. Spend a few more moments here with our breath. And on your next inhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Just slowly coming back into your body and back into the room. And if you're laying down, you can roll over onto your favorite side. Just using your arm as a pillow. Take a moment here to reflect on our practice and our affirmations. And also take a moment to show yourself gratitude. We practice some self-care this morning. If you're laying down, you can roll up to a comfortable seated position, palms facing upward for receiving or downward for grounding, depending on what you feel like your needs are today. together my friends will gather up all the good energy in the room bring it into our hands up above us in prayer inhale exhale fold all that energy down to your heart center as always thank you all for being here for sharing your time your energy your space with me with each other i hope you are healthy i hope you are well and i hope you are safe namaste All right, y'all. Thank you for joining me. I will be sure to put this on YouTube. So if you want to go back and do it later, if you like the practice, it will be there for you. Um, if you want to donate, Cash App and Venmo information is there for you. Thanks again. Namaste.
Peace and love.